greatest in the world of sports. This is Chalk Them Up. So I mean, we're going. To, we're entering the stretch of the season, um, waning moments of uh, division races. Um, there really isn't any close race going on right now. Do you see any late surges for teams in the last couple games? Fascinated by the Red Sox in the race. Um, and, you know, the, the, the question is, you know, what, what will the Rays be coming out of Sunday, play on Sunday? Here's the bottom line. Right now, the Rays are clearly a better team than the Red Sox are. The Red Sox have the lead in the wild card race, but the Rays have the pitching. They've got the momentum. Here's the one catch. They have two series left against the Yankees, and they also have to play the Blue Jays, who, you know, are a very tough team. Uh, and meanwhile, the Red Sox get to play the Orioles. Now, the Orioles have had a great week uh, beating contenders. They took down Tampa Bay twice. They beat the Angels on Friday and Saturday. So they're no pushover. But uh, I'm fascinated because if the Red Sox don't make the playoffs, this will go down in history as one of the great collapses of all time. I mean, we, we went into the year with people basically agreeing around the sport that, you know, the Red Sox had a dominant lineup. They were almost certainly going to make the playoffs. If you look back at the ESPN predictions, and I was one of them, I, you know, I had the Red Sox making the playoffs, uh, and, and yet they are really struggling to get in. And I think there are already questions about once the postseason began, if the Red Sox did crawl into the, into the playoffs, whether or not they would be able to do any damage. That's how poorly they're playing. Buster, with the Phillies clinching the first playoff spot in all of baseball, are they your favorite right now to win the World Series? Uh, they, well, I, I, you know, I always go back to uh, I, I hate sort of making remaking picks. I kind of like to make picks and stick with it. Um, you know, and I picked the Giants before the season started to repeat, so I'm looking like an idiot at this point. <laughs> but that being said, I, I don't think there's any question the Phillies on paper are the best team. I mean, you know, they're one, two, and three, as Rich Doobie, their pitching coach, has said uh, in their rotation, they've been better than advertised. You know, Cliff Lee is a Cy Young candidate. Roy Halladay is a Cy Young candidate. Paul Hamels in the lineup is the number three. Vance Worley has been tremendous uh, filling in, and, and Roy Oswald looks like he's kind of rounding in the form as he gets close to the playoffs. The one question, you know, I hear from scouts um, when they talk about Chris tonight with the Phillies, is their bullpen. And they kind of remind you a little bit of those teams of the Braves in the 90s where they had, they had these great rotations and they had a good lineup and, you know, Philly's averaging about a run more per game since they got Hunter Pence. But that bullpen does have some questions in it. And as you guys know, uh, play in October is just different because, you know, the bats tend to be longer. Uh, starting pitchers don't tend to stay in the game as long as possible. That took down the Braves in the 90s repeatedly, and it'll be interesting to see if that's what happens with the Phillies. Yeah, there's no question that that pitching staff is just dangerous in a seven-game series. Um, but if you had to pick right now, who is your NL Cy Young winner? I mean, you got Clayton Kershaw, Ian Kennedy down in Arizona, and then everything that's going down in Philadelphia. I mean, it's just it's a tight race. Who do you got right now? I would have Roy Halladay. Uh, with Clayton Kershaw as a close number two, Cliff Lee as a number three. Uh, he, Clayton Kershaw has been amazing. And I give the Dodgers so much credit because there's so much garbage flying around that team with the ownership situation. And yet, here they are, you know, basically with an MVP candidate, Matt Kemp, and a Cy Young Award candidate uh, in Clayton Kershaw. And I think you could give either one of those awards to one of those two guys and, and, and have it be have it be terrific. But I, th I think Roy Halladay has been the Cy Young Award winner in the National League. Once again, you're listening to Chalk Them Up on WPGU 1071 here with ESPN baseball writer Buster Only. So, Buster, have you gotten the hookup and seen a pre screening of Moneyball yet or no? I have not. Uh, I, you know, I've been offered, uh, you know, to, I've gotten a chance to see it, but it, it, it feels like one of those things where I'll take the time in the offseason. You know, I, I talked to Billy Bean, the Oakland general manager, from time to time, and, you know, I know I talked to him on Saturday, and, and I know he was already. He's got a lot of things lined up on Monday, uh, a publicity thing. They're actually opening the movie in Oakland. Um, and so he was, you know, sort of grimacing as he's getting ready for that. I, I, I you know, I, when I heard that they were doing the movie, it cringed a little bit uh, for Billy's sake because I know, and you guys know, that when they make movies, they have to streamline the storyline. Mm -hmm. And I, I know that when this comes out, it's going to be just as with the book when that came out, a lot of criticism uh, of Billy and of Oakland when, you know, they did a really nice job and from what I gather from some of the storylines, they just, you know, uh, I worry people in baseball are going to be offended by yeah. some of it. All right, Buster, I want to thank you for coming on once again. Um, before we let you go, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Who's making the playoffs, the Red Sox or the Tampa Bay Rays? 
I think the Red Sox will. I, I think, uh, you know, they, they'll wind up hanging on, but I don't think they're going to last very long because their pitching is absolutely in shambles. But I tell you what, if I'm one of the American League teams, you know, the Tigers, the Rangers, the Yankees, it looks like they're going to make the playoffs. I don't want the Rays to playoffs because they look like they're going to be pretty, pretty dangerous that they actually got in October because their pitching is in excellent condition. Tigers as well, I think, probably the, uh, the most dangerous team. All right, Buster, thanks for your time once again, and uh, enjoy the rest of the season. Thanks, Buster. See you guys.